Have you ever wondered what makes something sink or float? Today we are answering that question with my experiment, Density Hotel. Hi everyone, I'm Emily Calandrelli, MIT engineer and host of Emily's Wonder Lab. And on my channel, we learn about all things space and science. So grab your ping pong balls and your maple syrup because we're about to check in. For this one, you need a glass or a vase, really any size will do, maple syrup, water, some food coloring, oil, any kind will work, a grape, a coin, a plastic water bottle cap, and a ping pong ball. Now we are going to build our density hotel. We're going to start with maple syrup. Maple syrup is the densest of our liquid. So that's going to be the bottom floor of our hotel. So since we only have three liquids, you can try to do this to be a third for each one, but you can really make it your own. So that's our maple syrup. Let's just, we'll add the whole thing. <laughs> Why not? And now we're going to add our water. I'm gonna add a little bit of food coloring to our water, just a drop of blue. I'm gonna stir that. This is going to be the second floor of our density hotel. So go ahead and slowly add the water to your hotel. And that is going to float right on top of your maple syrup. Why? Because water is less dense than maple syrup. So that sits right on top. So if you look here, you can see a line when the water ends and the maple syrup begin. Just down here. Oh, it's green. It must be the maple syrup reacting with our water. Now finally, we're going to add our oil. Our oil is less dense than water, so this is going to float right on top and become the top floor of our hotel. Look at that. So now the oil sits on top of the water and the water sits on top of the maple syrup. It goes from densest to least dense. Density is a measure of how much mass there is per unit volume. In our bottom floor, there is more mass per unit volume than in our middle floor, which has more mass per unit volume than our top floor. Now we get to add our density hotel residents. So let's start with our coin. Where do you think our coin will go? Which floor do you think it'll fall to? Let's try it out. Three, two, one. That fell all the way to the bottom. It's a little bit hard to see, but it's at the very bottom floor, sitting at the complete bottom of our density hotel, which means our coin is more dense than maple syrup. So that's sunk to the bottom of the maple syrup. Now let's try a grape. Where do you think the grape will go? Which floor do you think it'll sit at in our density hotel? Ready to try it out? Three, two, one. Do you see that? It sits, let's see, look at that. It's like holding on to there, there we go. Whoa, did you see that? It fell through the water and it's sitting right on top of our maple syrup. So that means that it's denser than water because it's at the bottom of the water, but it's sitting on top of the maple syrup. So it is less dense than the maple syrup, which is making it float on top. That's the key. When something is less dense than the other, it will float on top. So finally, let's check out our plastic cap. Let's see where this goes. We're gonna submerge that there and kind of give it a push. Where is that gonna go? It is sinking in the oil. Do you see that? It's sinking, it's sinking, it's sinking. So it's ever so slightly more dense than oil. Where will it stop? Where is it gonna stop? It is stopping right on top of our water. So it is less dense than water and it's floating right at the surface. It's as if it reached a barrier right at the water's edge. That is so cool. And finally, Let's see what our ping pong ball will do. Where do you think our ping pong ball resident 
will stay right on top. So our ping pong ball is less dense than all of the layers of our density hotel. So it gets the penthouse. Now that you've built your density hotel, I challenge you to try out different residents, maybe a tomato or different berries or different toys, and guess which layer they will go to and then test it out. Thanks for making a density hotel with me. If you like this one, be sure to check out my best-selling Stay Curious and Keep Exploring series for 99 more science experiments. I'm Emily Calandrelli. Subscribe for all things science and space. And remember, stay curious and keep exploring. I'll see you next time. Emily's Science Lab.